It is Monday, March 19th, and this is Luca, and he is eight weeks old today. It's your eight-week birthday. And he, we just got home. I came home from work, and he's been at daycare all day, and he's been very feisty this afternoon, and I haven't been able to keep him in the screen with me, so figured you don't need to see me anyway. So I just thought I would give you guys a quick little update on his... Uh, his last week with us. We got him the Friday before he turned seven weeks, that following Monday. So he's been with us for about 10 days and it's been an adventure. But since the last video uh, last week when he was seven weeks old, um, things have gone really well. We've made a lot of progress. We've been working on house training and crate training. His crate is over there. And We've been to, ooh, where are you going? We've, just with me now. We've been to uh, two puppy socialization classes, and that's been fun. He's played with some other dogs and done really well with that. Um, he's not as afraid of them this week as he was last week. I thought he would be tired after playing at daycare all day, but apparently not. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, the classes have gone really well. He's socialized really well with some other dogs. And we've been working on some tr some tricks, I guess, some obedience. Learning about sitting and going to your bed and, you know, those kinds of things. It's been really good. Um, and also, mainly, we've just, we've just been trying to figure out how to manage, you know, life with a new puppy. Um, nights have been the hardest getting him to sleep through the night to stay in his crate. But I can report that last night he stayed in his crate all night long and didn't scream and howl. He really hasn't done a lot of screaming and howling, but I've just had to let him out to go to the bathroom so frequently that, you know, I haven't given, given him a chance to need to scream and howl, but last night I only let him out once actually and he did great. So he is a little firecracker aren't you and uh but otherwise he's doing great he weighs 13.4 pounds today when he came to us no i should tell you i guess last uh week he weighed 10.7 um he's <laughs> pretty cute his eyes were very blue when he was a little puppy they're a lot more green now and i'm kind of hoping they'll stay that way but I don't know, his mom's eyes were pretty, like, amber. So we'll see. And what else? I guess that's it. Um, I, had, I didn't include any, like, pictures or video of him in my last week's update, so I'll throw in a couple videos that I've taken of him. Oh, well, now you're tired. Now you're tired, eh? When the video's done. He's so cute. We've been doing great. Chris has a little chihuahua who is weighs seven pounds and is 11 years old. And they've been doing great together. She's already established herself as the pack leader. And I think that's great with her doing that when he's so small. Because I think as he grows way bigger than her, he'll still sort of give her the distance that she seems to want. So that's it for eight weeks. I'll throw in some videos and pictures. And thank you guys for all subscribing. It's been um, very well received so far. Say bye, Luca. Say see you next week when it's my nine-week birthday. I think it's safe to say that Puppy is pretty comfortable in his new home.
Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you're scary. Oh, you're scary. Oh, you're so scary. Bring it back. <gasps> Good boy. You are a retriever. Oops, not quite. It spoke too soon. Teeny, that's not your bed. That's not your bone either. <laughs> no? Did she take over your space? And take your bone? <laughs>